Hey everyone, Darren Burrows here. I recently bought a property in Hamilton, Ontario, and I thought it'd be interesting to walk through the entire process on this investment. My plan on the property was to buy it, renovate it, and sell it to somebody else, flip the property essentially. But because of the recent uncertainty in the market, the plan has changed just a little bit. So the plan now is to buy it, renovate it, put tenants in place, and sell it to another investor. I thought it'd be cool to walk through the entire process from beginning to end because we don't see a lot of this on television. And there's a reason for that. It's really hard to capture everything and condense it into a 20 minute episode when you could be shooting for months at a time. So I have that luxury of being able to spread that out over the next three to four months as we renovate this property and get it up and running. I wanna walk you through the entire renovation process. For instance, which items we decide to keep as is and which items we decide to upgrade, how we go about the application process to get the basement legalized, the challenges that come up through the renovation because I haven't done a renovation where there hasn't been at least a couple of challenges that have presented themselves throughout, how we manage the budget and which items we may have to cut out or cut back on as we get through the renovation process. And of course, the end product where we finish the renovation, put the tenants in place, and then sell the property to another investor and retain ownership moving forward. There will be a couple of videos that will be helpful for you to watch in my series that if you haven't seen them already, you're going to want to check them out. The first one being how we were able to acquire the property via private financing, which I'll link right here and also in the description below. And the second one being that flip the joint venture strategy that I'm going to use on this transaction, which again, I'll link here and also in the description below. I'm also going to create a playlist on my channel for this series. I'm going to call it Hamilton Flip to JV. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. And if you've got questions that come up through the process, leave them in the comment section and I may be able to address them as we're shooting videos. My hope for you is that you can get some insight into this entire process. If you've never been through it from beginning to end as an investor and it may inspire you to want to do something very similar or it may scare you to the point where you just want to partner with somebody else who's really good at doing this. Either way, I hope you find it hugely valuable. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the notification bell, which will let you know when I've released a new video. The first video is a walkthrough with my joint venture partner, Ben and I, talking about what we wanna do in terms of renovation on the property. We just took possession of the property and we're walking through literally minutes before the demolition guys are there to start taking things apart. So we're going through looking at the property, coming up with a list of items that we wanna have the demo guys take apart and then we'll come up with a plan moving forward after that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. I uh, just arrived at one of my new properties here in Hamilton, Ontario, and I'm just meeting my partner, Ben Julius, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough on the property and just decide on what we want to do in terms of renovation. Uh, so let's go in and take a look, and we'll show you around. Brother, what's up, man? How are you? Good, I'm good. How you doing? That's what we do now? I guess so. I guess so. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> well, right. there's the first thing we already said. Get rid of? <laughs> Wow. Oh, that smell. That's, it smells like money. <laughs> so, this, taking the ceiling down. Yeah, we're going to take the ceiling down. I mean, it's dated and smoke stained. And, um, yeah. and then you're going to, we should drop some pot lights in here. Yeah, it, you don't need too many. I think you need a, at least six. You think there's hardwood over here? Well, I kind of like to keep the carpet. It's, it's, it's beautiful to me. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned there is hardwood. I mean, it looks like there's hardwood throughout. So there we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. Look at that. Beauty, actually. This is actually in really good shape. Nice little finish with a dark stain will look really good. I mean, that's. That'll finish up nice. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, what about these walls? Can we open this all up? Um, but I think if we open up from where you're standing to over here, that gives our kitchen like more space and then we can drop an island in, we can do whatever we want, but mm -hmm. it's like this will completely change the whole feel of this, of this house for sure. Yeah. So let's demo this wall and that wall to where you're standing and then we'll figure out where the structure is and we'll, we'll figure out what we need to do to tie into it. Do you think there's hardwood over here too? High possibility, because it looks like this has been raised. Yeah. So... Well, this floor is going to come up anyway, so we'll find out what's underneath it. Yeah. I like the idea of running it all the way through because it is a smaller space. The, the continuum floor will give it a bigger sure. feel. Yeah, and if we've got hardwood running from that way all the way through to the kitchen, it'll make this room look nice and long. Mm -hmm. So we'll rip up the tile floor, we'll see what's underneath it, we'll match it to this, yeah. and we'll, we'll sand it and stain it all. Yeah, absolutely. So basically the front entrance, what do you want to do there, tile? I would do a nice concrete style tile. All right, in here, obviously this is a gut. 
Yeah. I mean, um, everything's got to go in here. I mean, the linoleum backsplash is... Yeah. No, it's... But we can extend this kitchen. Because mm -hmm. the windows are up high enough, which is nice. If we need to, we can run uppers over there as well. This mm -hmm. will be a big kitchen. It'd be nice. And, you know, when we open this wall, you can put a nice little uh, Eden Island in here. And if we do have electrical and HVAC coming up, then we can hide it in the island. Mm -hmm. But we're, mm -hmm. not, we're not going to do anything to the ceiling in here. No, we just it, change up yeah, the lights. Change up the lights. Open it up. Patch the ceiling a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, and paint it. And paint it, it, right? I think we can keep that stove. Maybe for the basement? Yeah. Yeah, let's we see. Could, we can see. We won't throw it. We won't pitch it. I mean... We get to clean it. <laughs> Ooh, nice. It's yeah. actually not bad. No, it's not. It just needs to be have a little facelift, right? Um, the toilet's in decent shape. Yeah, it's newer. The vanity is small and crappy. I mean, the guts are mowing, so we can change the trim if we want to. Yeah. Change the shower head. Yeah. I think the tile is fine. Yeah, it's in good shape. Just needs to be cleaned. Re-silicone, change out the vanity if we can, and clean up the well, new light fixture, right? Yeah. So hard right here, I mean, these treads are in good, in good shape, right? Yeah, let's just refinish them. Yeah, I mean, we'll change out the nosing, because <laughs> that's... Yep, it's, this hardwood's in rough shape, but it'll clean up okay. It's a bedroom, yeah. right? So I mean, yeah. It, it's, yeah. It's fine. It'll, hopefully that'll come out, and if it doesn't, it'll, I mean, it's the character of the house, I guess, a little bit, this age. We're not changing windows, are we? No, they're vinyl. They're, they're, I think they're in good shape. I think they just, we need to get a window guy in here, maybe re-silicone some stuff. And windows are an easy thing to change out if we just need to change out windows later on. Like if right. You know, yeah, it's pretty easy, right? the property long term. Little, little plug and play. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to look. I don't know. Is that some rat poison? Yeah, no. No, I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to get too close to it. We definitely need to figure out insulation in here. Yeah, that would be really cold in the winter. Yeah. And very warm in the summer. And then I think we should close this off. So like, I think we should insulate it properly and then seal it off. Yeah. Because you're right, the bed is going to have to go here. There's really no other place for it to go. I mean, you, you don't want to put it here because you have your vent. No, in the closet. In the closet. It basically be jumping on the bed to get into bed. It's like if it's a queen bed. This is really the only wall that can go on. New light, new door. Uh, you know what, the door's in, in, in good shape. It's just, it's a solid door. I think it just needs to be kind of some new hardware and, yeah. you know, re-screwed and, and painted. Same thing in this room. Do we take these out? It's interesting. So we've got just over nine feet wide. If we do the same thing, close that off there. Mm -hmm. Queen bed is five feet wide, I believe. Six yes. Feet. Yeah, sixty inches. So that gives you two feet by eighty, yeah. On either side, which uh -huh. is not huge, but it's good enough. Well, yeah. if we do take these out, what are they going? What are people going to do? They're just going to put um, a dresser in the wardrobe. So why not leave them? Maybe we get some new uh, <laughs> some new doors. <laughs> Maybe take this out to allow a little bit more light. Yeah. Right, because it looks like it's just been. Put on, nailed into two right here. Yeah, nice. All right, it's up. <laughs> yeah, way better already. Yeah, there's so much more light, right? <laughs> That's it. We're done. Let's rent it. Bathroom up here. Tight for space, man. Because we have these yeah. in this room, and you still have a closet right there. I don't necessarily, I think we'll get more value by adding a toilet and a vanity than we would have a living closet. Sure. I don't, I don't, think, we don't think we get a shower or anything up here, so I don't even like, we have to take from the rooms and they're not big enough. No. Um, but I really think that if we bring this out to the casing, yeah. um, we have about five feet of depth. We're three feet, that's all we need. Perfect. So Perfect. I would say, if we can get the toilet facing this way, right? Yeah. Underneath. Yeah. That's all, like, and then maybe a small vanity. Well, you know, there are some. Swing door. There are some new products that have a combination. 
Yeah. So what do you do? You wash your hands in the back of the bowl and it goes in the toilet? Yeah, it's like very European. Mm. But it saves water. Um, hey, I mean, I think it, it's not a bad idea. And it's not like it's prison style, but it's <laughs> you get nice, elegant ones. All right, let's look at it. Yeah. So All right. It's not bad down here, actually. It's no, I mean, you got great seat, you got smell. great height. It doesn't smell. It's six foot ten down here. Which is more than enough yeah. headroom. Yeah. So, okay. So, interesting thing about down here, if we're going to make this into a, a, a unit, these got to go. Yeah, we can take the stairs out. We don't need them. Where's the, and we'll have to figure out where the entrance is going to go. Be somewhere on this wall back here, right? Yeah, the tree over there is going to be a factor, so yeah. I don't think we can come in on this side. The deck's right in the middle, so our only option might be in this corner here. Right. Right? And maybe we go, like, entrance, maybe the bedroom ends up being on this side because we have a window there. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the bathroom is, I don't know, we want to try, probably try to keep the bathroom as close to this area as we can because I'm guessing all the plumbing is in this area. The yeah, it looks like, this, looks like the plumbing is, like, the stack is coming down in the, right over here. Electric water tank which is easily moved yeah where's the furnace it's over here well let's put the water tank here tankless do we need to go tankless if we if we have it in the budget we might want to just because if we're doing two units it's nice right do we need to replace this furnace or should we just you know what at first glance when we walked through i thought that we did but now that it's kind of cleared out in the area i think it's in i think the only thing that makes it look outdated is the the thick ductwork right yeah. i think it's in good shape i think it's the original it's tied into the original ductwork yeah. which you're gonna have but we need a little utility room anyway so i would say we put the hot water tank there either the instantaneous or a tank mm -hmm. we close in this space and this becomes the utility room we still have access to this window yeah and we'll just have to figure out how to put a door maybe we put bypass doors here yeah. if we can i mean Drop the wall maybe a little bit closer to where it is now to gain a little bit more space, but essentially try to keep this area as tight as we possibly can. Yeah. Yeah, there's the panel, 100 amp. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's split electrical, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do two meters, two panels. Yeah. Because we're going to have to rewire down here anyway. Yeah. And then we can get utility separated out. And two new panels would be nice too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be nice to try to get the upstairs one upstairs. Which should be no problem. It's on that wall anyway. I mean, yeah. you can just bring it up. It would end up being in the kitchen, which is kind of odd. Uh, but it could be on there. If we keep that wall where that where the counters end, mm -hmm. like we extend the counter, right, over, mm -hmm. it could be on that wall if we keep that wall. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That's what you're talking about, yeah. Because the meter would be right there, and we could put the panel there, mm -hmm. and then you could hang like a picture over it or something. You can flush mount it into the wall. Yeah. And then they would have their panel upstairs and they wouldn't need to come down here. Because it's the worst thing if you have, like, if you trip a breaker and you got to ask the basement tenant to come down and yep. flip it. So I think if we can get it on the main floor, it's better. Yeah. We'll also need laundry on the main floor, too. Right. That's so, the wall I'm talking about there, right? Yeah, this one, right? So you flush mount it in, into here or into here? You need 1.5 meters from where the service enters the house, which is basically like four feet. So we'd be fine, on right? Right. So you can put it here. So I would figure out where the studs are in this wall. I'm on this side. Yeah, it can go on either side. I yeah. mean, that would be better, for sure. Because if you put it on this side here, right here, in the den, you can, we can put a... Yeah, it's way better. Then. You can just put a little white cover over top of it. Let's talk to the electrician and see what they think about where they can put it. But yeah. I would say you're right on the other side of the wall is better. So if we put the entrance here, we can just move this staircase to there, mm -hmm. and that fence can either stay or, or come out. We're going to do new gutters, right? Yeah. We need a new roof. Yep. Actually, you mean you don't like the <laughs> original shingles on the house? <laughs> There's a few missing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they shingled over top of shingles, so yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see how many are Layers? actually yeah. under there. All right, so the deck stays, and then we just move the staircase, and then this would be our entrance for the basement here, which will be nice because we'll get another light in the basement because we keep the window there. Yeah. We can put a light in the door. Absolutely. A window in the door for light, and then we're good. So in Hamilton, if you know, from a legal basement suite perspective, you need two parking spots. 
We can't go tandem. You cannot do tandem. But it boils the question on, on what we really want to do with parking in this location because it's a it's a single drive driveway. Oh, please, please. Oof. So this isn't even on a pad. <laughs> it's it's literally stud on dirt. Do we even keep this? I mean, there's no other storage out here. Honestly, I dropped it. And I'll tell you why. One, it it's a disaster. <laughs> it's a yeah, disaster. It's a Two, I don't think it's worth the money to put a pad on the, on this. No. Three is I don't think that even throwing gravel, like tearing this up and throwing gravel is, is worth it. Um, here's a question. Would you store your stuff in here? No. Nothing and, that wasn't completely waterproof. And we don't, and we're the, type, the type of tenants that we want to attract aren't people, are people like us yeah. who want clean, nice spaces. Yeah. And then it gives us an opportunity to, have, to create more parking because if we drop this we end up having we can bring our driveway back and flare it out totally. to have two parking spots right there and we and we don't lose any we really don't lose any green space no, this is kind of unusable space anyway nobody's going to come back here anyways yeah i love it because if we get our two parking spots we get rid of this so we run the asphalt all the way back here it's a nice new parking pad we have two spots or a small picket fence down the down the side of it. Yeah. So it. somebody has a do if they want to have a dog, they pets back here and they can't. Yeah, that's what I do. I would drop this. Okay, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's in good shape, anyways, right? No. We might be able to drop it right now. Well, you probably could. I, I definitely can. Yeah. I mean, we'll replace this, right? We want to frost free. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about making sure it's shut off in the winter. Let's get it out of the window. Let's bring it over. Here, here, somewhere. Yeah, I mean we're gonna do all the windows anyways. Yeah, in the basement. Yeah. For, let's get a quote from the electrician. If it's gonna be an extra thousand bucks to go two hundred, you, you do it, right? If we have an opportunity to go two hundred, okay. the city, the city does a, will upgrade the service for free. You just have to pay for an extra meter. That's it, man. In the back, of the front. Oh, this has got to come down, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I would keep the fr I would keep the one over top of the door, yeah, as I agree. as it's good cover from from weather. We take that down. We're gonna immediately increase the light in that room. Yeah. Um, and also the curb appeal. And then we'll just paint this one up to match the new gutter and the new roof, and mm -hmm. we're, we're good. And we can decide if we want to repaint the front door or not. Yeah. All right, man. Our demo guys are here. Let's get out of their way. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough of the property with Ben and I. If you did, hit that like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, which will be Ben and I walking through the property post-demolition, coming up with a plan for the basement apartment, and also seeing what the demo guys have uncovered in terms of surprises on this property. With that, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey and I look forward to hearing about your success stories very soon.